Nadia G is with us, the host of Bitch and Kitchen. Good morning. Good morning. Now, you've brought, uh, this is hysterical to me. You have come up with uh, recipes that essentially this is what you're going to crave when you wake up and it's the morning after the night before. Well, yeah. totally. I mean, it's the holiday season. People are going out, catching up with friends, family. Sometimes you end up catching up with a Chardonnay right. <laughs> a little more. Yeah, right, right. So a hangover meal um, is, is always necessary. And the greasier, the better. So here I have a couple of amazing hangover treats. Mm -hmm. This is a sweet potato poutine. Oh, healthy. Yes. Yeah, very healthy, <laughs> very low fat. It's a gourmet meal from Quebec. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, you can make your own your own gravy, so it does kind of make it a little bit healthier instead of using, uh, you know, the canned stuff. Here we've got one of my favorite dishes. It's ricotta mushroom medaglione that have been fried and served with a sweet and tangy Italian salsa. So this salsa is so easy to make in the food processor. You just add uh, these little cherry tomatoes, extra virgin olive oil, a little bit of balsamic, hot pepper in there, parsley, oregano, you know, just keep it nice and fresh and it really pops. Walk me through what these are again? These are like large ravioli. So you could also use regular ravioli. These are medaglione, which means metal. That's why they, oh, okay. they're round. A, a deep fried metal. They're like Italian latkes? Uh, not really. They're ravioli. Inside they're stuffed with uh, so ricotta and, nice. um, and, and mushrooms. Oh, so I these are that. super tasty. Amazing. Now, Leslie was yes, I will showing us there was a little Liza beverage drink. over here. So Thank sometimes you. you drink a little harder than other times, and uh, you may not want to be ingesting solids. <laughs> Thank you. So this is a very healthy smoothie. It's uh, There's great. banana in there, celery, pineapple, and uh, a lot of people here celery and they're like what's up with that in a drink it's actually really really delicious and subtle there's a bit of a, an, an herbal nature to celery and you which can use just it with, complements with your bloody mary later on in the day right cheers. exactly cheers Hair of the dog exactly cheers. Cheers. cheers this is really lovely isn't it mm. the celery just takes it to the next level so i love this drink in fact you can even throw a little bit of vodka in there if you wanted to if you needed <laughs> if you needed that um, but yeah excellent drink mm. very you know rich in vitamins right. tons of, of vitamin c Head in there clearing vitamins and here we have something that has a little bit less vitamins we have bacon chocolate now, this is a great holiday treat, hangover, no hangover, so easy to make. You melt some quality milk chocolate, and then you fry up some minced bacon until it's really crispy. Drain that on a paper towel, fold it into the melted chocolate, and then put it into silicone molds. That's Pop it, it in the fridge, that is it. And your guests are going to be pretty impressed. They're going to be like, whoa, bacon chocolate, what's that? But it's truly delicious. Are you going to try it? Yeah, let's go well, for I, it. Well, you know, I haven't eaten meat in a while, so I will leave oh, that one to okay. you guys. So I'll, uh, I'll so, grab it. You know, so, is it the salty, sweet thing? Exactly. That's exactly what it is. So if you, you, you're having trouble wrapping your head around it, imagine eating breakfast, mm. having a pancake, and then, you know, dipping the oh, bacon in the maple right, syrup. Right, 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 right. And it has that flavor profile. Like salted caramel. Pardon me. Really? Mm. No, the bacon you. is not oh, overwhelming. No, it's not. I'm so jealous right now. And in it's your... not that good, Liza. <laughs> yeah, thank you, thank you. Now I feel It's really better. delicious. So, mm -hmm. you know, these are all great, great hangover treats or stuff that you can make for your, your holiday parties. I you think know? this is gorgeous. What a great idea. And I love that you did the ice bucket with the flowers as a little something extra, extra. That's cute. And I love that you do stuff that's not healthy and it's original. Where did that come from? What's What's... Where did you learn to cook so badly so well? Well, you know, it's, I learned to cook from my family. My mother was a great cook, my, my grandmother, so I'm not a professionally trained chef. Um, and I think, you know, anyone can make a really great meal. All it takes is a little bit of fearlessness and willingness to get your hands dirty. That's what make I was a mess, just thinking. You know, and eventually it comes out good. And if it doesn't come out good, feed it to your husband. He'll eat it anyways. Right, he's, what he's, does just, he know? he's just happy something like that. Yeah, right exactly. Um, true. It's true what you said, though, about, as you were talking, I thought it's about fear or being fearless because I'm tentative in the kitchen. Yeah. I'm like, oh, does this go with this? And blah, blah. You just go for it, right? Exactly. Just go for it. And I, if you're using fresh ingredients and you're thinking ingredient first, you can't go wrong. Fresh tomatoes, garlic, a little bit of pasta, olive oil, and there you have like a nice light sauce. You and make a mess? Is that part of it too? Because I'm not allowed in the kitchen at home because <laughs> I make a mess. <laughs> really? I, I, I do. don't know if I, I can am, cook. I am a allowed. messy cook. Right. That's yeah. for sure, you know? It's part of the process. But if you're cooking, let somebody else clean it up. That's right. That yeah. could be the deal. You'll make dinner if someone else cleans up. That's All right. I do. Bitch and Kitchen Christmas airs tonight at 7 on Food Network Canada. What's yeah. happening with that one?
Oh, the, what, what? it's great. We're doing La Vigilia di Natale, which is the traditional seafood feast, Feast of the Seven Fishes, and a hilarious Christmas song in there. We've got Guy Fieri, oh. Epic Meal Time, Vegan oh, wow. Black Metal Chef, Andrew Zimmern. It's a real... Uh, Real, real crazy Christmas special. And then season three of Bitch and Kitchen premieres Monday, January 7th, also 7 p.m. on Food Network Canada. Nadia G, thank Woo. you so much. Thank you.